Why don't you see if you can re recall that? Because you know what else I want to talk about um, is I want to talk about your latest project, for heaven's sake. Oh, that. That. Oh, um, it's it's a really a gospel thing. It's sort of for uh, in Modesto. Uh, I was with two musicians. Um, uh, John Wyatt wrote me a song about uh, well about the arts. And oh, and he can I sing that song for you? I would love it if you would sing for us. Okay, he wrote me a song, and I sing it to all the audiences that we go to, and all of a sudden they seem to understand. There's, the show must go on. Make sure the marquee's lit. The show must go on. Don't let the spotlight sit. The future's at stake. Our schools now implore us. Just give kids the chance, and you'll see one day their skills will advance. Move over. Make way. The arts must keep their place in education. The, the show must go on. Come on and board the bus. The show must go on. The children count on us. The curtain must rise. So strike up the chorus. Yes, it's a fact you'll find. The arts expand the mind in science, history, English, math, biology, zoology, and even sociology, psychology, mythology, and also genealogy, pomposity, verbosity, I'm losing my velocity, but let's keep the arts alive, let's keep young hearts alive, because the show must go on, do you like that? Carol yeah. Channing, if someone ever told me I'd have Carol Channing singing on the show, I would have died on the spot. Oh, oh, really? Really? Uh, Come on. Thank uh, you for that. Anyway, those other subjects have nothing to do with the arts, but it gets you. Suddenly it gets you, you understand those other subjects. Carol, I'm going to go on the air live for five seconds, and then I'm coming yes. back to talk to you. Would you hold the line for five seconds? You bet. Thanks, sweets. Oh, good. We weren't live. No, no. That's wonderful. Oh, you heard that, hey? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're sneaky. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I I want to uh, I want you 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 said something and it um it uh, it made me want to ask you this question. You talked about singing that song you just shared with us um, with your audiences um, and and you remind me Liza Minnelli was on the show not very long ago and oh and, I love her oh she's wonderful and I I, I, I think the same that the people react to you the same way they react to her. It's very delirious. People, your audiences love you. You must you must understand that. Thank you. Anyway, they love Liza too. Oh, they love both of you. What? Yes. What's now? Do you? Do you? Because you, you know, some stuff happened in the press a couple of years ago with a, a group of your fans. Does that hurt the heart um, a bit? Because there was a whole worldwide thing that got blown out of proportion um, for a lot of people. And 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 how does that affect you um, as as just a person who's got a deep connection with her audience? That you can't. You, know, you want it for an audience? You, you've what got. What did you just say, Sean? Oh, I said, I said, you, you've got, uh, you've got such a great relationship with your audience, and the, oh, uh, I see. Oh. In the past, though, like uh, you know, the, there was some things with your gay audience, and and it got a lot of uh, attention focused on it, and and it caused a lot of confusion. And and how is that for you to have to handle? Oh, there's no handling the gay audience. They're very, very warm and friendly. And another thing I notice, I keep asking them, do you have a yell leader or something? Because they're up in the, the balcony, in, in, the, in the mezzanine. They were, they, they, they were the first to approve of me that I knew of in New York, in a little review called Lyndon Ear. And they, I was doing all different characters, and they just loved it. But I noticed that they don't want to over laugh or over applaud or carry on and be noisy, too noisy, because it irritates people uh, around them who aren't used to making noise. And they were very careful. They're very careful. For instance, on an opening night, it annoys the critics. They think you have a, la a clack. <laughs> and these 
queer people are so careful not to overdo it. They just, they get the joke faster. They get it. They, they understand what's funny about it. And then they don't carry it too long. And they all stop at once. And, and so we were meeting after the show with a whole group of them. And I said, were you up in the mezzanine? Yes. Well, do you have a yell leader or something? Because you're so careful. You stop all of you at the same time. <laughs> so the, what so was, that you don't annoy anybody. What was all that nonsense about a few years ago then? When that, those magazine what articles... Nonsense? Do you remember a magazine article came out and, and it, it was quoting you and, 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 uh, and, and the Bible and, and gay people? And, um, and, then, and there was a lot of attention on, on things that you had said. Did I say something against anybody? Well, it was taken that way. I mean, we never know what gets said in an interview, right? But oh, um, I couldn't have said I couldn't have said anything against it. I couldn't have. I'm too grateful. You are, yeah. You sent you sound someone like someone like I said with Liza Minnelli, who who loves her audience as much as the audience loves them. Oh well, I don't I don't know about that, but I know the first time I was ever on stage, I suddenly realized, gee. That's what I, I, I was in um, fourth grade, and I was seven years old, and I, it was my first time on the school auditorium stage. Bobby Smalls, you don't know him, he nominated me, and we were supposed to tell if someone nominates you why they should vote for you, and I talked to Bobby. I, I mean, I talked on the stage, and I realized, oh, uh, they need to laugh. They need to to to. Uh, uh, well, anyway, I felt this rush of of recognizing each other. How wonderful! And I, thought, I want to do this. I want to on my gravestone. I want written. She lifted people's lives. She lifted people's lives. Well, that's she, what I want. Carol that's Channing, all I you ever have. wanted to do. You have. You have. You have. Yep, that's all I ever wanted to do. And and boy, you anyway. They're, they're, if you say they don't love you, their lives are lifted. That's mm-hmm. what I want to do. Carol, well, thank you for doing that all of your life, and thank you for spending some time with us today. Oh, I'm glad you know how to pronounce Prue. <laughs> I'm glad I know how to pronounce Prue too. I am. I've seen that L X before and wondered how. Yes, yes, it's French, isn't it? It is. It's French Canadian. Oh, French Canadian! Yes, we. That's a good audience at the Queen Elizabeth uh, uh, up in Montreal, in Montreal or something. Montreal. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, not Montreal. Quebec City, maybe. Wait a minute. It's um. Oh, well, you know. Um, oh well. Anyway. It doesn't okay. matter. They're all good audiences because it's Carol Channing up on the stage. That's right. Oh, uh, I'm very glad to talk with you. I'm, gee, what kind of an article could that have been? How could anybody say that? I could never say that. Well, I'm glad you cleared it up. That's wonderful. And, 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 and I'm glad that you spent some time with us today. Thank you, Carol Channing. Oh, I'm glad to be with you. Thank you so much, Sean. Bye-bye. All right. Please tell. Did you know that many years ago, the first tour of Hello, Dolly, I was made your queen? I didn't know that. Yes, sir, in San Francisco, and boy, there was a, that was a ceremony. Carol? There was a, oh, I've got to tell you, it was the biggest, the greatest thing that ever hit San Francisco, and there wasn't a blonde wig left in any beauty shop or any place in, in San Francisco, they tell me. Can I just tell you one thing? What? I love you. Oh, gee, I, I certainly am grateful to you. Uh, we'll, we'll meet, won't we, Sean? One I, day. I think we will meet one day, Carol Channing. Then I'll be. Then I'll be able to love you. Bless you. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Bye bye, Sean. Thank you. Bye bye.